Okay, so let's uh, try to do something interesting with sine waves inside of uh, Rhino. And it's actually pretty easy to do that. Uh, I'll show you how. Just a really basic uh, basic example here. Uh, import math. We don't need a Rhino script syntax. And we're going to say A equals math dot sine of Y. Or uh, let's put in X right here. Doesn't matter, but okay. So now we need to uh, pass in something to X, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a grid of points. And let's just bump this up really quick. Let's put 30 in. And let's uh, not preview that. So let's get. We need. Uh, well, we'll need that, but we'll need this first. Uh, the points uh, deconstruct, and we're going to first let's just pass in x, and uh, I guess we could look at what we're going to get. Uh, okay, because we have 30, the first 30 are such and such. But we're just getting values uh, from negative 1 to 1. So let's uh, pass in x. I'll show you what it does when we do y. You see it's in the y plane, and so we want it into the z plane, and we want to keep our y's as well. Okay, so now we have uh, just the uh, really basic uh, sine wave. Uh, function and what we can do is we can also add uh, we're going to have an amplitude and we're going to have a period and the way we do this is uh, the period is going to be right here and amplitude is going to be out in front Okay, so let's plug these in. Okay, so now we can play. Uh, we've got the amplitude, and then we've got the period. So that's kind of uh, a basic thing just the basics and let's make a mesh out of this just because mesh from points and uh, we want to flatten this and uh, also if you look here uh, whoops If we pass in one, we actually get two points. So we need to uh, we need to add one to this. And you see we have a mesh there. Let's knock this way up uh, thirty. So now we have a mesh, and I'm going to make it so we can't see those. Oops. Can't see those points. Okay, so let's uh, stop there, and then um, I'm going to come back and uh, set up an attractor to this.